Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Springdale 38 FL. It's really nice, it's going to be a hybrid travel trailer as well as destination model. Nice and big, being over 38 foot, residential refrigerator, but it still has excellent towability in case you do want to move it. So let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way back and then we'll head on in. One of the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is your 30 pound propane tank cover. And inside they do give you two 30 pound propane tanks for 60 pounds of propane, as they do expect you to stay in this for longer periods of time. Behind that are two battery rails, so you can go ahead and put your battery box right there. And then diamond plating up front. Again, as I mentioned, this unit is built to be towed, so you have the diamond plating up here. That way any rocks get thrown up by the tow vehicle, we'll just hit this diamond plating and not scratch up the beautiful front front end. To make our way around to the side here, power awning. You have a massive power awning. As you can see, one touch of a button that rolls out, one touch to roll back in. Super simple and easy to use. And underneath that power awning is an LED light strip. So if you want to sit out here at night, turn a light on, you can go ahead and do that. And you don't have to worry about getting up there and hanging up your Christmas lights. This coach also has two entrances, the main one being right here. Beautiful entrance, has a sliding glass door. Again, reminiscent of what you see in a lot of the park or destination model trailers. Three steps to get in and an easy grab handle right here. Uh, so from start to finish, it is very easy to climb inside of the coach. Make our way over a little bit further, and if you look back up top, you see outside speakers. That way you can sit out here if you want to listen to music, you can certainly do that. Now that will be controlled by your um, uh, entertainment center inside, your multimedia center. However, that is Bluetooth capable, so if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can go ahead and connect to that via Bluetooth and be able to control your music from right out here. Now, if maybe you're not a big music person, but you do like to watch TV and it's a beautiful day, you can sit right here, enjoy the TV. Um, you know, it's great, especially because as we'll see when we go inside, this can house and sleep and entertain a ton of people. So I like you have the outside entertainment center. What you can do is take the TV from inside, that mounting bracket actually comes right up and out. You can take that whole thing right outside here, clip it right into place right there, and you'll have your outside TV. Of course, electrical outlet is right there, and then the cable you'd hook up right here. So very cool, I like they did that, and as you'll notice, that is underneath the power awning. Take a look down below, this, uh, if you look right next to the tire here, you'll see that yellow plate. That's the correct track alignment system. Uh, what that is, it's been proven over time that your ax axles will actually become misaligned. So with that, it's really easy to go ahead and line those back up. Again, this unit is built to be towed, so uh, you know if you, your uh, axle starts to become misaligned, you can bring it in, we'll go ahead and adjust it for you. It's a lot easier, we don't have to cut and re-weld the axles. Then this is the second entrance, of course. Again, three steps to climb on in. Super easy, this one goes right into the bedroom. Come around to the back with me real quick here. A Couple quick things to point out. Uh, you do have a bumper on this coach. Also right here is your spare tire. So hopefully you never have to use it, but the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing you have it here. And you also have the tire cover. Uh, picture window out the back. So hopefully you have a beautiful view. If you do, you can enjoy it right here. This is in the bedroom. That way as soon as you wake up, you can look out the back window and enjoy that beautiful view. Come around to the outside. You'll see right here you have outside storage. So take a look at that. Great outside storage. This is underneath the bed in the bedroom. So phenomenal storage right there. Uh, and if you're, you, it's kind of tough to tell, but you can actually access this from inside as well. So you can get to it from here or lift up the bed and access the storage from right there. Last but not least, right over here you'll notice a couple things. One is this, it's your outside shower. It has both hot and cold access right here, which is great. And then right above it, this is your black tank flush valve. What that does for you, if you're not familiar, is instead of having to drag your hose through your RV and putting it down your toilet to wash out your black tank, now when you're done camping, just hook a hose up right here. The black tank has sprayers built in. It'll go ahead and wash out your black tank for you. The other thing I like about the location of this, especially with the outside shower, if you look right down below, that's where your terminations are, so it makes it super simple. Uh, when you're done uh, you know, dumping everything, you can just take the outside shower, wash your hands off right here, and you're good to go. 
All right, that'll wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Springdale 38 FL. Uh, this particular model is in the coffee interior. As you'll notice, very open and spacious in here, which I love, you know, given that kind of residential feel with all the open space. And then right up front here, because this is a front living room, uh, this is gonna kind of be the best area to hang out. You can see you have a big L-shaped sofa right here. Uh, Tri-fold sofa in this portion, so this does fold out into a bed to sleep additional guests. And you have end tables on both sides so you can go ahead and set a drink there you'll also notice electrical outlets and you even have USB ports over here as well so I need to plug in a laptop tablet cell phone you can go ahead and do that very easily window right here lets in a lot of natural light as well and at nighttime you do have two LED lights right here to help provide uh, that light also skylight up, uh, right up top here this is a vent so you can go ahead and open that up in conjunction with the windows to go ahead and create a cross breeze um, but with the LED lights I do want to mention LED lights throughout the coach here uh, on the ceiling which is great because that uses a fraction of the energy that your standard bulbs do so even if you have this parked uh, you know a lot of times if you're a seasonal they still make you pay electric so you'll really appreciate the LED lights over the incandescent right up top here you have the decorative glass you can go ahead and open that up um, you'll notice that you have great storage right up there speaker up here as well so that's connected to the multimedia center I'll show you in a little bit uh, so you can control the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside on that same multimedia media center it will have different zones right over here of course is, is the entertainment center you have the uh, Jensen TV 40 inch TV right here along with your Jensen multimedia center uh, so a couple quick things one I love Jensen products uh, the main reason is they are built for the RV industry cool thing about these is they're built to withstand the temperature extremes from hot to cold as well as the shakes and vibrations from going down the road so as I mentioned even though you may use this as a park or destination model you can also tow this so they put in those electronics so this unit is prepared for that uh, the TV is on a swivel arm mount so you can swivel it around so you can see it in other parts of the coach which I'll show you in a little bit and as I mentioned the multimedia center tucked away right here uh, that is a radio CD and a DVD player so if you do want to watch a movie not a problem go ahead and pop it right in and again like I said it does control the different zones of the speakers underneath here is the fireplace I love the fireplace not only is it very aesthetically pleasing but it's also an alternate source of heat if you don't don't want to use the propane if you want to use electric maybe where you're at you don't have to pay for electric and this is a great source of heat because it is essentially free so that way you know you're sitting right up here getting nice and toasty it does do a great job of taking the chill off in this space as we move a little bit uh, further back in the coach you'll see right here this was the sliding glass door uh, notice how you have the blinds here again gives that residential feel but I love this when you open that up it lets in a ton of natural light into the coach which is phenomenal then right here Here's a super slide. So this really opens the coach up, which is great. Another sofa here. So that, like I said, that's the great thing about this coach. It's wonderful for entertaining, for having guests. Plenty of seating in here. This is also a tri-fold sofa. This folds out into a very large bed where you can easily sleep to adults. Uh, so not as comfortable to sit on, but the tri-fold sofa is actually a preferable type of mattress in any kind of RV. The reason why, you don't have a big bar in your back. You know, if you, your standard pull-out mattresses, when you pull them out, the mattress is about this thin you have the big bar you wake up your back hurts you won't have that with the trifold you also don't have to wait, uh, worry about waking up with a deflated air mattress so uh, definitely the preferable style of sleep system in a couch windows around here too again letting in natural light LED lights storage up top just like above our other couch again the decorative glass right there so we move over this is the dinette right here a couple things I love about the dinette uh, obviously it has great seating so you can sit here eat a meal together uh, the other cool thing is this table. The table here is removable. So if you take a look, you can just take this guy right out and the table actually drops down, which allows for two things. One, you can have it drop down right where it's at to make into a bed, creating an additional sleeping space. Or you can actually take this table out in front of this trifold sofa over here, drop it down and you have an excellent coffee stand that, or a coffee table. So you can put your drinks on there, you can kick your feet up, whatever you want. Then if you take a look underneath right here, great storage very easy to access you don't have to worry about lifting the cushions up it has doors to go ahead and get in there again windows right there and uh, you have USB ports in between the couch and dinette so uh, one more time if you're there you need to work on your electronics you can go ahead and plug them in keep them charged up 
great pantry right here if we take a look uh, I do like to point this out so huge pantry space which is phenomenal um, you know that's gonna be kind of part of the kitchen which I'll show you in just a second here but I love having that extra pantry just great extra storage let's go ahead and talk about the kitchen a second um, if you notice right up here you have big huge countertops here I love that this kind of uh, bows out because this does kind of give you a space if you want to put a bar stool here you can go ahead and have someone eat here also it, uh, taking advantage of all the space you have two pull out drawers right there which is phenomenal um, but as I mentioned big countertops here so you get great prep surface from you know over here you see you have a sink top cover so this can be used as prep surface don't mind the pink that's just for winterization purposes um, but the sink top cover this is cutting board quality so you can take this off use it as a cutting board when you're done go ahead and put it back huge single bowl sink in here which is exactly what you want in this type of camper because it's going to be you know destination park model you'll probably use residential cookware and you're going to want that big sink also high-rise faucet here makes it nice and easy to do the dishes uh, right here is a three burner atwood cooktop the front one is high output you also have the oven right here underneath in case you want to do some baking great plug-ins both here and right over there so if you need to plug in a coffee maker blender or anything like that you can do so underneath the sink you have the cutout right there and open that guy up you can see additional storage that's a great place for a small trash can if you ask me right underneath the sink where you expect it to be another drawer right here of course this is full of goodies from the manufacturer but you know whether you want to put silverware in there or whatever else you can go ahead and do that additional cutout there then if you take a look up top again LED lights brighten it up as well as the window great storage up top here remember we had that big pantry I showed you so you, know, you have this storage as well as that pantry storage microwave right here stainless steel weight on this unit 8620 pounds underneath that is your fully functional hood with a light and a fan now this part I absolutely love. You get a residential refrigerator. How awesome is that? Whirlpool, name brand, open it up. Take a look at all that space in there. You know, you don't have to fight with an eight cubic foot, you know, or a six cubic foot even. You know, just a huge refrigerator right here. So everything you wanna take with you, uh, you can go ahead and put it in there. That way you can camp out for days or, you know, possibly weeks at a time. Let's take one more step back here as we move out of the kitchen. This is really cool too. You can open this up. I love this extra corner storage. If you want, you can use this for stuff in the bathroom. Um, but as we go in there, you'll see you do have a linen closet in there, but really whatever else you want, again, just fully utilizing that storage. And then you also have an electrical outlet right there up top. Let's go ahead and shoot into the bathroom. You'll see right here, uh, down in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. Right up above that is the linen closet I was talking about. So you can put your towels and everything in there. Uh, over to this side here, Neo Angle Shower. Let me open that up for you. You can see right there, uh, plenty of space, the hand wand shelving and a big skylight up top. Then over to the side is the um, sink and vanity there, uh, storage underneath. And then up top, the mirrored medicine cabinet. All right, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the front half. Let's head to the very back, we'll check out the bedroom. In the bedroom here, you have a lot of floor space right here, which is great, and that will be due to the slide out bed. So queen size bed in here, windows on both sides. As I mentioned, we were outside, this does lift up for additional storage, strut supported, very easy to access, and that is the same uh, storage area as the one outside, so you can get to it from either area. Uh, right up top there is your uh, additional storage, again, the decorative glass which is great led reading light up top too and also we were outside i pointed out the rear picture window that is this guy right here beautiful view out back underneath that electrical outlet you have that on both sides cool thing about that is if you do need to charge cell phones or if you have a cpap machine you need to use you can go ahead and do that uh, right here is a spot and a hookup for tv so whether you want to you know put it on the wall or put it right here you can go ahead and do that storage there underneath which is great two full extension drawers right here nice big drawers and we can go ahead and open this up you'll see you have hanging wardrobe space there as well 
All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Um, you know, again, this is the 2017 Springdale 38 FL. It's just a phenomenal unit because it's so versatile. Whether you want to tow it, use it as a park model. You know, the great thing I love about this is if you do have a seasonal, maybe you decide to move, you can take this one with you. It's not going to fall apart on the travel. Um, because it is longer, it also does have a second AC hookup. So if you do need two ACs in here, if you're going somewhere down south dealing with that heat, you can definitely uh, hook up two ACs. This is just a phenomenal camper. You definitely need to come and take a look. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can go ahead and give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you have particular questions on the specs of the unit, or if you're looking for price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.